Well, I fished down the fence from the launch, that is, west of the ramp to the to the old uh, cow pasture fence, and uh, I threw it back in these pads as deep as I could, and uh, I started fishing with about 10, 20, and I haven't gotten a strike. Here's the toad I'm using. It's one that, uh, that I bought from uh, uh, the tackle shop that came to the last freshwater fishing club meeting. And tackle shop is called Brooker's. The rig's nice, the cast nice, uh, but the fish won't bite it. Not yet, anyway. Well, I think they've had plenty of opportunity to bite this toad. That's the way I've been fishing it. Right back in the pads and pausing it in the uh, open spots in the pads. And that's, that's what Steve what Henderson happened. said he did in his last report. Okay. And I'll give you a view of the shoreline so you can see where I am. I'm casting this one knocker out to my left, away from the shore. There's a one knocker. Okay, coming up on some pads here. Knocker untangles from the strap on the rod holder. Yeah, there we go. I'll throw it around these pads a little bit. There you go. You can you see me throw over here by these pads. Good cast. Right beside the pads, I'll pull it back by it. in there but it didn't get hung okay that's good okay I got some pads right here in front of me oh that's a good spot that was a good cast no strike Right out slightly to the right of the bow. Mm -hmm. Still no strike. Well, that's enough of that. Nothing happening. All right. That was the case all day. Got a north wind, as uh, you can see from this. See the flag over there? Pulling me right across to the southwest corner, which is fine. I got a good drift going right now. See these pads? See the ripples on the water there? That north wind is taking me right along the edge of this uh, pad bed. And uh, so everything's perfect except fish won't bite. I haven't got a strike. I've fished with toad and one knocker now for just about as long as I've fished with the toad. And uh, haven't felt a thing. As I watch this, I realize that it's pretty much hopeless for me. <laughs> Well, all three of them. I got three of them with crankbaits and one with a frog on it. Let me throw the frog a little bit more 
right in these pads and see if it'll wake up anything. This is a Houdini colored uh, swim jig. Okay. Well, I've been fishing with the uh, swim jig now for about five, five minutes. Started out just like that. Oh, you didn't see that probably because I had the camera turned to the right. The wind's turned the boat around. But anyway, uh oh, my tail's gone. Tail's gone on the swim jig. You know what that means? A toothy critter got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that's what gives it all the action. So I got it. It's 12 12. I'm over here in the southwest corner. Wind has picked up quite a bit, as you can see from the surface of the water here. I'm throwing, uh, in fact, my anchor's not holding. <laughs> I got a five pound barbell weight. <laughs> uh, I'm throwing a uh, square build uh, Kevin Van Dam crankbait and uh, black, uh, black swim jig because my hood unit has just taken a bit off. And, uh, let's see. Over here in the uh, southwest uh, corner, there been some bass hooked in here. Max Wolpert caught a, hooked a big one right there, uh, but didn't land it. But this should look familiar to anybody who's, uh, who's fished Lake Myona. The two big houses here. I'm throwing that black uh, swim jig right now, but I'm getting uh, pretty discouraged. I don't know how much longer I'm going to last. Okay, okay, 12.38. Just paddled across the lake from the southwest corner. Uh, conditions look better for me over here. I don't like uh, the water to be too rough if I'm trying to fish with a frog. And there is some, uh, right, well, the breeze just picked up slightly then, but there is some lee water over here. And I didn't bring my power pole today, so uh, I have to uh, do what the wind lets me do. Well, there I go, paddling back to the dock of beat. Man. <laughs> Not one to give up, however, so here we go. We'll try it for a few more casts.
As I watch this, I realize that it's pretty much hopeless for me. <laughs>